Hey Aries, welcome to Live, Laugh, Love, Tear It. Uh, today's topic is just a collective zodiac read, so take it how it resonates, if it resonates for you. You can book a personal reading with me through January, mid-January of 2022, okay? Um, I want to thank you all so much for all of the likes and subscribes to this channel, all of the tips and donations, everyone that has bought uh, merch, including Oracle cards and book personals with me. It is greatly appreciated and goes back into the channel. Remember that tier it is fluid. This could play out past, present, or future. You can check out my playlist for additional collective reads. And this is a timeless reading. So Aries, Sun, Moon, Horizon, whenever you're seeing it, that's when it's meant for you. Let's start off by pulling your current energies. Like what are you thinking right now? Please and thank you. Okay, there is an energy of you feeling like something is impossible. You're going to need to work through disbelief, okay? And you're going to have to gain this fresh perspective by letting your imagination run wild, okay? It's like, stop telling yourself that you don't have it and you can't have it because of X, Y, and Z. Here we have the right way, learning to create what you desire, okay? You're needing to get out of your own way um, and let your natural ability to manifest come out, okay? Here we have growing up, okay? Wanting to grow and experience rejection of perpetual youth. You're feeling like, okay, now, come on. I'm getting too old for this. I should know this. I should know that, okay? But you're never too old, first off, to learn anything new. And second off, um, the main thing that I'm seeing here is within your thoughts. There's an energy of self-sabotage where you're believing um, a way that is not true, okay? You're believing in limitations. But I do see your mind changing and you learning that you can desire, I mean, that you can manifest your desires into your reality. And there is a sense of you growing up here. It says, set your course, know where you wish to go, have a plan, the right direction. So you're needing to have a practical plan behind your manifestations, okay? Who in the world are you? Getting to know the new you, okay? So you find out that you're this manifester and that you know how to manifest and you can do so after you get out of your own way. Now there's an energy of getting to know the new you and setting course towards where you want to go and what you want to manifest in your current life. Aries, someone arising. What else can I tell them? Please and thank you. Here we have the energy of you deserve sugar, not salt. You're well deserving, okay, of anything, any choices that you make and the benefits that you reap behind this. You're well deserving of anything you set your mind to, to manifest. And then we have a number 33. Focus on the here and now because that's where you're going to be able to manifest in the here and now. You can think about the past, but it'll only give you limitations because you can't change the past, okay? But in the future, that can also give you anxiety too because you're not in the here and now. You're jumping the main step, leading the way. Where do you want to go? What do you want? Here we have start a revolution. That's telling me like, don't be afraid to change, to start a new pathway. You may also inspire people with the eight and the two. That's a 10. So it's a completion of a cycle. Here we have think before you judge, because this is something that's not going to be very mainstream at first, but you're going to weave together the crown that you deserve. You're going to step up into your sovereignty. That's what I'm hearing your true self, you make a decision and others are watching you as you make it. But literally, it's like maybe you do something and you take off overnight. What else can I tell Aries, someone arising? Please and thank you. There is an energy of doing a lot, rotating a lot. Where you putting your time and effort to? What you're presenting you could be constantly presenting something. You could be on YouTube. You could be trying to get monetized somewhere. You could be trying to get seen with your content. 
or whatever it is that you have, you know, that you're presenting. You're trying it again. You're trying it again. But you're kind of in this flighty energy. You're not really grounding a lot of your ideas. And that's why you're spread out in this energy of not fully believing that it's completely possible. Here is the new beginning coming in as promised because it's yours, okay? It's there for the taking. But it's just starting to be seized. It's just starting to become within grasp, okay? Because you're just starting to see the truth in a situation. It's like these two things go hand in hand. You even have the Ace of Cups, Aries, someone arising. You have a major shift in your life, and it's telling you. First, it's going to start with this creative spark, okay? You're going to come out of the energy of being flighty, coming in and out, not really focusing all of your will towards making this uh, fruitful possibility, bringing it into your reality. And then... You have this spark of creativity and then you delve into your true self and you present it. It's some type of clarity here and it gives you the greatest emotional fulfillment that you could experience. It's like everybody comes towards you and wants to give you business and offer you things and endorsements, right? But there's the energy of will you remain in your head? Will you go back to the self-sabotaging energy where you had something happen to you in the past and you go back to in your ways? But I see a transformation. It's almost like don't give up midway before you receive the prize. Yeah. There is an energy of you collaborating with someone coming together with someone. Just when you let your guard down. And here's the strength and the will to fight a little bit more. We even have the three of wands because it's like you've done the work. You're preparing for these many options that you'll have. Yeah, but they're still looming the fact of will you get out of your own way? Aries, sun, moon, or rising. What can I tell the spirit moving forward? Please and thank you. Here we have the energy of phases and cycles. There is a beginning with every ending. Illusions are revealed and released. Okay, so you had this illusion that you had to work yourself to the bone. But really you had to discover something else within you. With the open communication we have, get a weight off your chest. Speak up with love and be heard. See, that's when you went forth to present this project. It's like you go back to the drawing board and you realize that you needed passion there. Yeah, you could bust your ass all day long, Aries, Sun, Moon, Horizon, but you needed that passion. What drives you to do this? Cloak of wisdom, you already know the answer. You seek trust in what you know. It's like for a while you had this scattered energy where you just rushed in and rushed back out. But it's like, remember who you are. With the sacred self here, unleash your spirit, express your gifts, dance the sacred rhythm of life. You go forth towards this new beginning. And you have this Krishna devotion energy. It says, trust your spiritual guidance. Your commitment has been recognized. You are loved unconditionally. And then the truth comes out. You were worthy of this all along. Your dharma is unfolding. It says, remember that you are on a path. Take one step at a time to happiness. It's all about passion. Don't rush and try to get too much content out there. Just produce quality content, right? It says intervention and purpose. Divine intervention is occurring. Know that you are being guided. Happiness is your purpose. 
So Aries, sun, moon, or rising, if this message resonated with you, smash that like button. If you want to see more collective zodiac reads like this one, smash that like button. I want to thank you so much for all of your love, support, tips, and donations to this channel. Until then, peace and love.